Okay, so I am having to replace the lower engine mounts and the lower Longerons in um, my RV9A. The reason is when the fuselage was upside down and we were riveting the motor mount to the lower Longeron, we curled over the rivets instead of making nice rivets. I was doing this in my garage in Las Vegas. I'd go down there for a week and try to get two weeks worth of stuff done and, and it was rushing, probably screwed this up three years ago. Um, and in the process of drilling out the old rivets so I put new ones in, misdrilled them terribly. I got you know, like figure eights on there and kind of been debating, finally moved it up to Oregon and got a hanger and now I could spend more time and do, do it right. Um, and so the solution was to put in new lower engine mounts and new Longerons. And so uh, I made those pretty simple. It actually spent a lot more time thinking about how to make the old ones work. It would have been much faster just to jump right in and put in new motor mounts and make new um, uh, lower Longerons. So the first one I did came out good and since the holes are already in the skin and um, the lower Longeron just had to line up and drill right through and drill right into a blank lower motor mount and the first one and when I got done I I clicked these together just so I kind of keep them together and I realized you know the first one came out really well I um, to make sure that they they were tight I used a vice grip, you know, and some cardboard and just clamped those in tight to pull that Longeron right up tight into the to the lower Longeron. And the first one worked out great. You know, it's nice and clean down here. Um, but this, the other side, when I did it, the it came out with a space there and I used the vice grips and I thought that was going to be, you know, do a good job. And so... What had happened is when I pushed this up against the motor mount, there's a, a weld there that pulls, it pulled the lower longer on when it was up tight against the, the face, it pulled it and made a big old gap there. So I said, God, I'm gonna have to do it again. And the reason the other one didn't do it is because there is no weld um, sticking where the launcher on is, but this one there was. And so I said, God, I'm going to have to do it again. I'm going to have to, you know, make a whole new launcher on and, and buy, you know, a new motor mount. But I came up with a better solution, and that was put a spacer in between the um, motor mount, which is designed to be flexible. So I think they know that these things um, don't line up perfectly. Um, but with that gap there, I needed to put a spacer in there. So I just made this little um, spacer with the, a radius that will slip right up into the, the lower larger one and fit nice and tight there. And so with that in place, I can put the thing together and it gives me a nice tight, when I put the vice grips on here, it's gonna be nice and tight. Um, so there's not gonna be any room for wiggle or anything. And the, I've pre-drilled the lower motor mount. Um, one of the problems I had with the rivets before is the head of the bolts that go down into the Longeron were so close, it was hard to get a bucking bar in there. So I'm going to um, actually set all the rivets first and then um, clamp the motor mount to the Longeron and then use the holes that I've drilled in the motor mount as guides through the um, lower Longeron. And then everything should be nice and tight. When the bolt goes through this hole, it has a lot of friction and I will drill 
lower Lageron and the spacer at the same time. Uh, and uh, to torque it, um, uh, the way to do that is you put the bolt in the hole and you use your torque wrench to find out how many inch pounds it takes to turn the bolt without a nut on it. And let's say it's going to be five inch pounds and the bolt's supposed to be torqued, say, at 20 inch pounds. So then I will actually torque it at 25 inch pounds to get the nut um, snugged up properly. So I think I've got a good solution. All I have to do on one side is something that I, when I inspect the plane, I'm going to look at every time. It's going to be a pain if there's going to be any problems there because it's way up, you know, at the very corner underneath the dash. Uh, so I'm hoping that this is going to give me a nice solid um, connection uh, fitting together and never be a problem. Um, one thing I did had a lot of consideration on is this motor mount, uh, you know, bolt through and everyone knows when you take off, you give it a lot of throttle and the plane just really torques. And I figure there's going to be a lot of torque on this, but there's so many places that it connects to that I'm hoping that it's not hoping. I'm confident that this uh, is going to be a solid connection as it would have been if that weld wouldn't have been all goobered up there. Um, so that's my solution. Thanks.